today we will learn about the summing amplifier how to draw the summing amplifier in multisim now i will open multisim now and uh, what do you know about summing amplifier we use opam operational amplifier in this summing amplifier and the output of the opam will come as the summation of the input given in inverting mode okay so here this is my multisim i am going to place opam first so what i will do I also opam Okay, I will go for seven four one. Yeah, here it is. Okay, you can see. I will place this one here. Okay, now what I need, I need a resistor. No problem, resistor rated also we can take, uh, which we will attach here. One more, yeah, yeah, leave it. And uh, source, DC source, if I will go for source, power source, DC power, okay. One DC power will be here. Another DC power is for this resistance. Okay, next thing is uh, we need what we need VCC. We need VCC for here and one VEC you can say for this place. Okay, what else we need? And ground is there, we need ground. Here, one ground will be here, and uh, anything else? No, I don't think so. Yeah, one more resistor we need will be here. Okay. So I will rename it as this is RF. I think you already learned this in your theory classes. This is R1, this is R2, this is the reference resistors, RF. This is my inverting input, this is my non-inverting input, and this is my output. And this 4 and 3 branch, this one, uh, yeah, this one will go from minus 12 volt to plus 12 volt. That is for VCC and VE. I will uh, make it as uh, 1, 2, minus 12, okay, and this one also, 1, 2, plus 12, okay, and now we have to connect the circuit, so how we will connect, we will just drag the wire from here to here, my ground is connected, one wire from here to here, my VCC is connected one wire from here uh, VCC this is VEE okay one wire from here to here V R1 is connected one wire from here to here R2 is connected one wire from here to here this one is connected Ground to this side and ground from this side. Okay, done. I will make it as no problem. Value the value will be as in my 3 volt. This also 3 volt. 
okay so 3 volt 3 volt is the input 1 kilo ohm is the r1 resistance 1 kilo ohm r2 resistance and we haven't connected this rf resistor which will connect it to nothing and this is the feedback resistor actually and it will go to 6 means output side so my circuit is connected what we need now we need a multimeter to measure the output okay so i will connect multimeter as the output side okay and one ground will be connected okay so what we will do i will change the parameter this is in voltage dc okay so no issue now we will run the circuit simulation see this is minus 5.997 so almost 6 i have given 3 volt and 3 volt as the input as you know that and this rf is 1 so you know this that uh, v in into minus of r1 by uh, sorry rf by r1 is equal to v out okay similarly same goes for v2 and same goes for v1 so if we will disconnect this circuit take it as stop this one and disconnect this one okay disconnect this one okay we have disconnected this circuit then my output should be 3 volt okay see it is a 3 volt almost 3 volt as you can see it follows the theoretical formula of minus rf by minus rf by r1 into v in is equal to v out so this is my circuit output now if we will connect this one this one again this to this and let's see uh, I want to connect one more resistance and power source here. Okay, just wait. Copy this. Control V. Copy this. Yeah. So what I will do? I will just connect this to this. Okay, so now I have three voltage sources here, three volt, three volt, three volt. So my output by using theoretical formula, my output should be nine volt, almost nine volt. Okay, so we will see. See, it is almost nine volt. So this is my adder circuit. It will act as a summing amplifier. It is called as summing amplifier. Open will act as the adder. Now, next thing is this we will see how this open will act as subtractor. Okay, I will stop the simulation and uh, subtractor circuit. There is little bit difference in subtractor circuit. Okay, so we will leave this RF as same because it will be used in subtractor circuit also. So this, this if we will connect the subtractor circuit by inverting uh, non inverting input will come into existence okay so what I will do I will uh, yeah delete this like this one here one RG resistance come into existence uh, this RG resistance I will connect to the ground one ground one, and one more resistance still I will copy this one and I will place it here okay 
and it will also go to the ground. Yes, one source will be connected. I have given one input from non-inverting input side. This is the 3 volt and 1 ohm resistor. Okay, And this is RG. I will rename it. This uh, is uh, RG. This is the ground resistance. And uh, one resistance, I will remove this one. I will remove this one and uh, will connect it to okay so one ohm one ohm so this is three volt this is three volt so my output should be zero volt this also follows the formula let's see now this will happen as the change the voltage make it as uh, one volt uh, sorry uh, yes make it as five volt uh, now it's coming it should be this this side should be greater than this side then it will come okay so my output is 2 volt so 5 minus 3 2 okay i will change this value to 8 volt and then again i will check okay i have to stop the simulation first and then i can run it so 8 minus 3 is 5 okay and Seven volt. Okay, stop the simulation. Run it again. See, eight minus seven, one volt. So as you can see, uh, and we have performed the experiment of adder and subtractor using op-amp. How op-amp will act as adder and subtractor? So you have to make the lab report of this experiment, but you have to change the resistance value, these resistance value. And you have to do the theoretical calculation before doing the experiment. Means in one tabular form, you have to show the theoretical value by using calculation and the practical value. Okay. And you have to compare the result for adder also and for subtractor also. Both you will change this resistance value. Make it 1, 2, 2, 1, like that, 3, like that, on different, different, at least take 5 values, 5 different values, 5 to 10 different values, and change these values, calculate the theoretical calculation and the result, and compare that result with the practical output, and show those results in a tabular form. And the calculation formula also you have to show it in your lab report, lab manual. So the pin diagram you have already studied of open. Sorry. So this is a, our 741 open. We will use it in micro uh, multi sim. Okay. So that's all for today. Thank you.